Hey guys, welcome back to PCN's channel. I wanted to do uh, 10 games for the PC Engine that I think you guys should play. Uh, that list of 10 turned into a list of 20, then it turned into a list of 25. I then went to like 30 games, it, it just couldn't end. And in the end, I thought, let me end it at 33. The two threes around this kind of number, but there are more games. This isn't a comprehensive list of all the best games, but these are, this is like 33 games that you should check out. So if you've got a Mr. Like Me recently and you've added, um, you know, you've, you, you've, you've added PC Engine games to the PC Engine core, here's, here's a list of games that you should check out. A lot of the times I'm talking about the reason why I like the game. Now bear in mind here in the UK, we didn't have the turbo graphics. Uh, we had the PC Engine, which was available on import. I, I don't know anyone that really had a PC Engine or a turbo graphics. I was the only guy in my circle of friends that had the PC Engine. Um, so when we were buying games for it, it was like a lottery because we're buying games looking at the covers of the games. Sometimes the games were, uh, uh, sometimes the games look good and they were an action game sometimes you bought it and they were text heavy and they're an rpg uh, and we couldn't really play them um we we had to uh, read imported magazines to find out what's what that's how we found out about the first game that we're showcasing which is uh i knew this as pc kid i think in america it was called bonks adventure it was also kind of rebranded as bc kid but for me this will always be pc kid this is like their mascot but stick around to the video we're going to look at another 32 games after this games that i think um you should check out now remember it doesn't matter where you're playing this uh, i'm going to mainly be playing these when i play them uh, on my mister and hopefully later on the analog pocket but uh retro arch retro arch has has great pc engine cores and you can play it on that you can play it on like a little android or a little ambernick handheld whatever takes your fancy so play these games check out the pc engine an absolutely great console i don't know what my favorite console is it would have to be between the snes and the pc engine but i'd probably say the pc engine wins because i had a lot more fun and i had a lot more games that i liked on the pc engine it's just you know the snes had super mario world man and that's one of my favorite games so uh guys let's get into this let's have a look we're going to look at another 32 games uh and uh, yeah thanks Right, okay, uh, the second game we have is the New Zealand Story. Uh, enjoyed this game in the arcade, really liked it on the PC Engine as well. I, I think it's a very, very good version. Uh, I found like a lot of games, a lot of arcade games that came out for the PC Engine, even though they weren't the same, they were very, very good. Um, I don't know what you want to call them, whether they're ports or very, very, very well developed. Um, yeah, this, this, this was a really good game. Uh, the intro is really good, where... You know, every, everyone gets swallowed up right away. Or was it the first boss uh, that was well? But yeah, definitely check out the New Zealand story if you haven't already. Game number three, we have Don Doka Don. Uh, for anyone that's a fan of single screen platformers like Snow Brothers and Bobble Bobble, uh, definitely check this out. The game's a lot of fun and it, it continues with that uh, normal single level kind of platformy formula. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is related to the Bubble Bubble kind of family. Uh, if it is or if it isn't, let me know in the comments, just enlighten me. Anyway, Don Doka Don, a game well worth checking out. Okay, next up we have, I think this is JJ and Jeff. Uh, we always knew this as Chan and Chan. Uh, it's a platformy game with like puzzle elements and it's, there's some <laughs> there's some crazy stuff in it it's very very slippery it reminds me of mario bros so this guy's like urinating on a lamppost and and you kick him but yeah i think yeah there you go you, you break wind as well <laughs> i don't know it's quite a comical game um but yeah there's a guy where a guy is actually like i don't know defecating or something and um you kind of kick him i don't know if he's further along here you can hear the kind of screeching sound it's very very slippery uh but this is definitely a game worth checking out it was definitely very very different for his time we never had anything like this look at that that's a big heap of crap there um but yeah this is uh, jj and jeff so yeah definitely check this out on the pc engine even if it's just for like comic value Okay guys, next up we have Legendary Axe. Now, this game is a very special game to me. This is the game I got with my PC Engine. Uh, I don't remember if I got more than one game, but this was the game that stood out the most, at least when I got the system. And it's definitely worth checking out. Um, it's, got, it's, it's quite difficult. Uh, I don't ever remember cl uh, completing this as a kid, even when I was good at games. And even in the demo, the guy dies. Um, but it's well worth checking out. The Legendary Axe, uh, definitely a, a good game. Check it out. 
next up guys we have uh bloody wolf uh, honestly this is one of the best games i've ever played uh whenever whenever over the years i've uh um you know tried some pc engine emulation this is usually the first game that i go to uh, i actually completed this on the pc engine absolutely just i just love this game it's not too difficult the difficulty is just right uh you know you've got two guys one's called eagle one called snake and uh, years later i kind of had this in my head thinking was this like a, a metal gear solid tie-in it's not but obviously having the name snake in there i was thinking okay something to do with it but this is so worth checking out you can get on biaxis yeah, it's just really really good the first boss is called like shotgun man uh definitely check this game out still plays really really well today uh bloody wolf definitely check this out right next up guys blazing lasers this this game was yeah this is one of the first shooters uh that I really really got into the power-ups in this thing uh just amazing uh ran really really fast um yeah just a really really good game so it's called Bla blazing lasers i uh, i knew this game as gunhead because that was a japanese name and the japanese copies uh what i had it's only later when i was kind of playing it for emulation i realized okay this is actually called blazing lasers uh but definitely check this game out uh it's a shooter i didn't find it too difficult at the time uh, i'm sure with my old man reflexes now um i find it difficult but this was my favorite power up like the lightning one as you kind of power this one up you know the screen fills up with this stuff and you feel very very powerful kind of going through this uh so blazing lasers gunhead uh an excellent excellent shooter right next up mr heli recently uh it's actually um the ir was it irim irim yeah the iron core recently released sort of mr so we, we've got like the arcade version of mr but i really like this game you had like two buttons one shot up uh you know one shot vertically up and the other shot uh, horizontally left to right um or right to left depending which way you're facing well, this was really good because you kind of grab this currency and uh, you have like little pop-up shops that give you your power-ups but i really liked mr heli um it just gave you a little bit more than i guess what normal shooters did because you kind of had this incentive to kind of collect money and uh, get these shops i haven't got enough for that nope definitely not uh, but Mr. Heli, def definitely check this out. Iron made loads and loads of good games um, for the PC Engine, and Mr. Heli honestly was was like no exception. Okay, guys, uh, the next game we have is Ninja Spirit. Um, yeah, really like this game. Another game, another game by Irim. Um, yeah, absolutely love this game. I couldn't finish it. Uh, I've done videos on this game before actually I uh, mentioned one part I got stuck on where you kind of jump down and there's loads of ninjas and you need to kind of like find a way through uh, but this is this is just such an awesome game and I absolutely love this uh, on the PC engine um, you know you, if you've got a mister you can check out the arcade version it's available as well but a PC version a PC engine version will always be special to me because that's the one that I played I didn't so much play this game in the arcade um, and honestly like if you're checking out PC engine stuff you have to check this game out well, I guess you have to check all 33 out <laughs> is what I'm saying but it's this one is that was, was definitely if I was making a top 10 this would be in there okay next up we have formation soccer so I'm from London I'm I'm from UK England uh, and and we we like football and you know we we yeah we grew up uh around football football was the main game of the country and uh, the game that I had for my PC engine was formation soccer I don't know if it, if, if it was that good of a game but I really enjoyed playing it and I think you guys should uh, check it out especially if you're into football next up Bravo man right with my friend from planet alpha this game was really cool because he just had really long limbs uh, you could move it up an attack and he would kick down he would kind of pop his head out but <laughs> yeah game very 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 well worth checking out i don't know if you're like a massive giant in this. i can't fully remember but yeah you hold the button down to kind of attack longer you can just tap it a little bit kind of like a the housing from street fighter kick but uh yeah definitely definitely worth uh, checking this game out pc engine had a lot of cool games like this that were a little bit different uh and look at that guy he just looks mad but yeah check out bravo man
Right guys, next up, Son Son 2. So this, this was a favourite game of mine on the PC Engine. One that would definitely make the top 10, possibly even a top 5. Um, but yeah, this this was fascinating because I was playing this in Japanese. And I think it's, it's only ever come out uh, as a Japanese game. So what was really good, I'm actually running a fan translation. So a lot of these games have been translated. Uh, so if you check sites like romhacking.net, People have put like translations of games on there and so many games are getting translated um, very frequently and very, very often. And I was so glad that this one got translated because I had no idea what I was buying from a shop. Turns out one of the power ups I was buying actually let me smash walls. So um, once uh, once I knew the translation, I tried smashing a wall and uh, found some uh, found some perks and whatnot. But this is a really, really good game. Um, definitely worth checking out i think there's like a part one as well but i never quite got into the part one part two is the one that i really liked so son son 2 uh if you are going to try it definitely try the translated version of the rom unless obviously you're fluent in japanese unlike me but son son 2 check it out all right this game uh, china warrior which is which is kind of like it's it's like a I guess a, 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 a slightly more modern version of Kung Fu Masters. You've got like a punch button and a kick button. I, I, I really enjoy this game because, do you know what, it, it, this, this just, I thought this game looked really good uh, on the CRT at the time. Uh, obviously, I'm not playing this on a CRT at, at this given moment in time, uh, but I remember it looking really, really good. And it was like, wow, look how big like the graphics are and everything. I don't think it's that great a game, but it's a game that I really liked. I enjoyed playing it. Um, and like like I, I've said in, in previous videos, a lot of the games that we bought, we only just looked at the cartridges and um, just kind of like took a punt at you know whether this game was going to be good or not but i, I enjoyed this game and I, I really think it's it's worth checking out especially if you're a fan of like kung fu master you 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 like this game you'll enjoy this game right guys next up this this is a game it it needs absolutely no introduction street fighter 2 champion edition on the pc engine this came with a you know you could get a six button pad for it or you could play it with uh two buttons but yeah street fighter 2 champion edition check it out for the pc engine all right guys who doesn't like the world's greatest detective and so uh this is where batman's in in a maze and uh he chucks his batarangs at these clowns that spin around and he uh, collects all the items to progress to the next level uh honestly like i know it doesn't sound like that much fun but this game I, I really enjoyed this game i thought it was a lot of fun i thought it was different um yeah batman if you're a batman fan definitely check it out even if you're not check it out the game the game's a decent game it's kind of like i don't know it reminds me of pac-man a little bit but yeah i'm batman Another favourite up next, Legend of Hero Tomna. Uh, yeah, I love this game. This was great in the arcade, absolutely great on the PC Engine. Uh, again, I really like these games. This, this kind of lets off a little, uh, if, everyone, if anyone remembers a game by Capcom, uh, the Willow game, kind of lets off a vibe about that. But this is, this, this is a good game, man. Well worth playing. Uh, and I think uh, this game was only in the arcade. Uh, and the only other console it was on was the PC Engine. Uh, it might have been on stuff like the Amiga and the ST and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this is this is where I remember it being uh, a fantastic game. Uh, like all the other games, it's, I, I guess it's not worth me saying check this out, check this out. Because I'm actually saying check all these 33 games out. So I think we're about halfway through the list now. Hopefully you've, you've found some games uh, that you've liked, maybe you've forgotten, maybe you've never heard of. But let's move on to uh, the next game. Next up, guys, we have Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu. So, like, uh, like, uh, like I said, we had the the Japanese version over here, and, and we just knew this game was Jackie Chan. That's that's all I knew it as Jackie Chan. Later on, I found out it was Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu. Uh, you kind of kick a frog and get special moves. So the special moves are done Castlevania style, up in the attack button. Uh, you get quite a few. There's a nice variety uh, you get of them. But I still remember the day I got this game, and I was like so happy. I looked at the graphics. The playability was just superb and uh, I think up here yes uh, it's a tiger that I want to fight like, imagine that man who doesn't want to punch a uh, or, or kick a tiger 
Uh, but yeah, this game, this game is banging, man. Well worth checking out. Again, strong contender for top 10, but I couldn't just uh, think of 10 games. That's why we're doing the top 33. Uh, but Jackie Chan, Action Kung Fu, check this game out for the PC Engine. Honestly, it's, it's awesome. Like, awesome, awesome. Wow, look at that. Okay, another game to check out. Parasol Stars. Uh, yeah, man, I really really like these uh single screen platformers uh so parallel star Par parasol stars another one i think so this is possibly the follow-up to rainbow islands i mean it's got the dude from rainbow islands in there so rainbow islands i think was like a, a kind of follow-up from uh from bubble bubble if i remember correctly uh but yeah uh Rain rainbow islands should be coming out for the mist as soon so that'll be really really exciting to play that was a game that i i played a lot on uh on the actual Amiga, but yeah, Parasol Stars, another great single screen platformer, well, well worth checking out. All right, guys, this is uh, Rastan Saga 2. Now, okay, this this really isn't that good a game. I don't know why I really liked it. Let me know in the comments if you actually like this game. Am, am I crazy for liking this game? Because all my friends at the time, I remember, they, they just cussed me. They said, this game's rubbish. I liked it in the arcade and uh, I liked it on the PC Engine. Um, you know, I can see, I don't think it's as good as the first Rastan, but I don't know. I really, I just really like this game, man. Um, and I'd, I'd recommend checking it out. Check it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments, you know, what you thought of this game. Did you like it? Am I am I nuts for liking it? You know, were all my friends right or was I the odd one out? And this is a good game. But I certainly think it's worth checking out. I, I wouldn't put it in my top 10 though. But yeah, definitely, um, definitely an awesome game. Rastan Saga 2. Okay, so Splatterhouse. So this was... Uh, yeah, this was a this was a decent game um i don't think i ever completed this but i remember smashing those uh, i don't know what they are those zombie things and uh splatting them ac uh, across uh, across onto the wall oh, that thing vomits there that was uh, nasty some kind of toxic vomit there but this was splatterhouse and this was uh i remember like seeing this uh, i'm pretty sure it was an american magazine called electronic gaming monthly and i was like oh wow okay uh, you're Jason, and to be honest, I didn't even know who Jason was at the time. I don't think I'd actually, ha I, I didn't actually see like a Friday the Thirteenth movie, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Jason out there. Uh, but this is Black House. So I, I think it plays quite well. There was an arcade game. I think there was a, a free uh, a game for like the Xbox 360 and the PS3 as well, like a 3D kind of sequel after, uh, or a 3D follow up or whatever. But Black House definitely worth checking out. Was a game that was, um, you know, you didn't have a lot of like. I don't know nasty-ish games or whatever like a uh, horror kind of games and and this was around then so definitely check out splatterhouse and uh, all its weird i wouldn't say wonderful creatures just damn weird creatures all right bomberman 94 absolutely banging game uh fun blasting and bomberman's always been fun and and this one, from what I remember, you kind of go along levels and the levels are quite varied. You've got like boss fights and uh, things in there. So like, um, I don't know, a little bit uh, different-ish for Bomberman, you know, like just away from your kind of conventional, just uh, your normal bombing. But uh, I really like this game and uh, confession, when I had this game, I didn't have the multi-tap and the PC Engine only had one controller port. So I only ever played this one player. Uh, I'm sure like all Bomberman games, it's crazy fun multiplayer. But as a one player game, this game's really, really good. And, and I really recommend you guys uh, check this game out. Next up guys, we have Hattress, <laughs> a game about hats. Here we go, so that's Tetris, but with hats, that's just, that's insane, huh? But hey, it's it's a puzzle game, and it, and it kind of works. Wow, man. But yeah, um, definitely check this out. This is, I don't know, this is this is PC Engine. You get some of these crazy games for it, and it's, this game is, it's, it's crazy, but it's fun. It's Tetris with hats. yeah guys absolutely love this game so this is cyber cross um you kind of power up into this power, kind of power ranger guy and uh i remember even before playing this game i mean listen to the soundtrack look at the transformation 
amazing. Uh, you unlock the character, unlock like a new set of moves. And this is this is just banging this game. I remember, I think I saw this being played in a shop. I don't know if it was advanced consoles and on Carnaby Street. And I was like, yeah, I've got to get this game. I had no idea what it was called. Uh, I eventually found it. Um, really good really good soundtrack kind of reminds me of like the double dragon soundtrack a little bit but definitely check out cyber cross uh fantastic game uh fantastic game like really 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 worth playing so guys Parodius. Now, who doesn't like Parodius? Now, given I mainly played Parodius on the SNES, uh, you know, this is this is a fantastic version of the game also. Uh, yeah, if you've not checked Parodius out, you, you definitely want to check it out, especially if you're into, like, vertical shooters. Think of it as uh, a comedy version, uh, you know, a lighter version, a more light-hearted version of, like, your kind of Nemesis games. Same kind of system for power-up and everything, just a little bit crazy out there and it's got the bells from bells and whistles and you know who remembers the cheerleader game between the cheer cheerleader's legs something that uh, all of us have wanted to do at one point or another but yeah parodius good on every single machine it's available for at least from what i remember uh but yeah guys parodius Right, this is uh, Rabio Lepus, uh, a shoot 'em up with a bunny. And if I remember correctly, I haven't played this for a while. Um, but when you get close to stuff, you can uh, you can punch it. Let's try it out. <laughs> nice, nice touch for a shooter. But um, I don't know. Like PC Engine had a lot of shooters. It was all it was almost like I don't know. Like the way the Saturn had loads of shooters. Obviously, the PC Engine had like loads more games on there. But um, yeah, Rabio Lepus special definitely worth checking out. Hopefully, I'm saying the name correctly. Uh, but yeah, this is another another good shooter. Uh, I certainly liked it, and I certainly think you guys should check this out. Right, guys, our type uh, one of the one of the best games ever made, an awesome shoot 'em up. Haven't never played a bad version of this, whether it's the Spectrum, the Game Boy Arcade, PC Engine. Uh, every version of this game I've played has always been good. Uh, let me know in the comments if there is actually a bad version of this game out. Um, so yeah, the PC Engine version, absolutely no exception. Uh, another great Iron game. There was there were there were loads of Iron games for the system, and uh, R Type is a game, uh, an absolute must. What a game to play! Next up, guys, Shinobi, an arcade classic, uh, one of the best games Sega ever made, uh, and it's on the PC Engine and I really like this I don't know if this was the best home version let me know if this was or what the home best version was I remember this being better than the Master System but playing it now it does feel a little bit floaty uh, at least the way the character moves um, but yeah I, I really like this uh, on the PC Engine and I, and I think it's still worth revisiting today am I, am I having deja vu who knows Okay, Gradius, the, the classic shooter. <laughs> Definitely want to get a speed power up. So we had uh, we had Parodius, which was like the comical version, uh, and now we've got Gradius. Uh, so I think uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I always thought we had like Gradius, Nemesis, and Salamander. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were like the same game. They were just named different in different regions. But I've always liked the Gradius, the Nemesis games. Um, you know, I remember it being like great on. Uh, on the Game Boy as well, Nemesis uh, especially, uh, very very good uh, on that, but yeah definitely check this out, this is just, this is just, well for me this is just as good as the arcade, I'm sure there's differences, but I really enjoyed this uh, on the PC Engine, uh, and like all shooters it gets really really tough. Hey guys, so while we uh, wait for uh, Outrun to arrive, uh, on the on the mister which hopefully will be uh, this weekend very very soon uh, actually it might even be out by the time I've put this video out but I liked outrun on um, on the PC engine I thought I thought it was good and I think you guys should check it out too um, yeah who remembers the MTV advert for outrun you know it was like you, the person keeps smashing and then then it says in real life you don't get another quarter very good drink driving or anti-drink driving uh, advert but outrun a game a good game uh, well worth checking out
Right, next up, guys, we've got Ninja Warriors. Uh, now, I remember originally actually playing this game on my Commodore 64. Uh, this was in the arcade, had a long screen. Kind of like what they've done with um, the way they've laid the screen out there. It's definitely like longer horizontally, but obviously there's, there's stuff missing from the top and the bottom. Uh, but I, I really like this game, uh, and I thought it was a good version. The PC Engine was a good version of this game. Ninja Warriors, uh, be sure to check this out whenever, or, you know, whatever you play... Um, your PC engine stuff on okay guys next up we have a uh, winning shot if you're trying to kick back relax and uh, play a little golf game this was uh, this was a good one from what I remember uh, and uh, it was one of the ones playable in Japanese so um, if you just want like a little chill out game for your PC engine or even if you've got a PC Engine DT, wow, PC Engine DT, I've never held one of those or actually seen one in real life. Uh, I'm sure they go for a lot of money now. But yeah, if you want a golf game, this is uh, the winning shot is a good choice. Right, guys, next up, Final Soldier. Uh, so PC Engine had a lot of shoot 'em ups. I know I've not featured too many in here. Uh, this is another one. I would say this is another tough one. Power, good power ups, the same uh, as in uh, Gunhead, aka uh, Blazing Lasers. But uh, I think I, I, I preferred Gunhead, so that's why. Yeah, this is. But this is still another one that I liked. I think it's good. Uh, I think it's got good power ups. Uh, and a lot of these ones, it's like the effect, like the effect that uh, everything's moving really, really fast. I think the PC Engine done really, really well. But this is another game well worth checking out. Okay, last game in the list, guys. Jijoku Migori. I, I think I'm saying it right. Uh, it's what I'm getting on the list uh, with a name by. Yeah, so this game's good. Kind of kind of reminds me of Ghouls and Ghosts a little bit, but just obviously slightly different sprites and whatnot. <laughs> Excellent uh, death animation. So, guys, this was 33 games you should definitely check out on the PC Engine. Let me know what games you liked on the PC Engine. Did I cover stuff that you liked? Uh, I know there's plenty missing there, but like I said, I was going to do like a, a top 10, then I was going to do a top 25, then I thought, let me do a top 30. And then in the end, I said, right, let me just stop at 33. And these are the 33 games that I picked that I really liked on the PC Engine. Now, I know there's games out there, you know, that are like RPGs or games that are a little bit longer in uh, length or involve more reading. But as I had like the Japanese version, the games that I had were games that you could just kind of pick up and play without depending on text too much. You know, we got around stuff, we were kids. We, we we tried stuff more uh, now, but let's not forget some of the games that are in Japanese now are translated over like Sunsong 2. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what your top games are. If you want to do your top 33, then uh, go ahead in the comments. If you want to do your top 5, do what you need to do. But guys, look, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy the content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Likes always appreciated. I'll see you guys around. PCN out.